Hi guys, so welcome back to the fourth concept, which is the UQ. Now for UQ, um, how we calculate UQ is basically using this formula. So I'll just, we have done the UQ uh, questions in OM as well, but you all know how OM was taught. Okay. So basically UQ is optimum level of inventory that the company can hold, where the cost of holding and the cost of ordering will be the lowest. So for example, over here, Let's say that the company requires 36,000 um, books every year, out of which 100 books but purchased per order. So the lot size is 100. So the number of orders is 30, 360. Ordering cost is 12 rupees. So the cost of ordering is 4,320. Average in, uh, inventory is 50 rupees. No, sorry, the average inventory is 50 books, which is 100 divided by 2. And price per book is 1,000. So the average inventory that you have to hold is 50 books at 1,000 rupees, which is 50,000 rupees. Now, given the opportunity cost of 6%, the holding cost comes to 3,000. So I'll just copy the format here. So basically there are two costs. One is your holding cost and one is your ordering cost. So you can see over here, when you're ordering at 100, rupees, at 100 books per order, the cost of ordering is 4,320 and the cost of uh, holding cost is 3,000. However, when you increase the lot size to 200, the number of orders that you have to place is only 180 because 36,000 divided by 200 is 180 and ordering cost remains the same. Um, so it becomes cost of ordering reduces from 4,320 to 2,160. And uh, because you are now having to hold a higher inventory level, because of 200 books, you have 200 books at the beginning of the month, zero books at the end of the month. So average inventory is 100, 100 into 1000, which is 1 lakh. 6% opportunity cost uh, gives you 6000 as holding cost. And the total cost is 2160 plus 6000, which is 816. Um, number of books to be ordered. If that, if you keep the uh, in lot size at 120, what happens is that the number of books to be ordered reduces, uh, the number of orders again becomes 300 and the cost of ordering becomes 3600 and the cost of inventory becomes 3600. So you see that when you increase the lot size from 100 to 200, cost of ordering goes down, but cost of holding goes up. However, this 120 is at sweet spot, which is where the total cost is the lowest. Basically, if you draw a graph, there will be, uh, for the cost of ordering, as you increase the number of books per order, the cost of ordering will go down. And uh, as you, uh, and the holding cost will go up as you increase the number of books. So because you have to have, hold a higher inventory, the holding cost goes up and the cost of ordering goes down. Now, um, if you add the total cost, you can see that this is always the lowest point. Uh, the, the sum of this would always be lowest at the UQ level. Now, how do you calculate UQ using this formula? So it's 2 into S into T by P into R. S is the number of books. T is the transaction cost per, per order, sorry, per order. And P is the price of, and R is the rate of interest. So here, uh, number of books annually was 36,000. P is 12. This is annually, remember, not monthly. Question might say monthly, we have to multiply it by 12. And do it. Sorry. So S is 36,000. P is 12. P is equal to 1,000. And R is 6%. Now, using the these variables, we can calculate EOQ as 120. How will you do that? Is equal to square root is equal to square root into two into this, into this, divided by this, divided by this. The square root that will give you the UQ level. Now there's a slight variation in this question where it says that, let's say that out of the 36,000, 18,000 is sold in summer and 18,000 is sold in winter. The summer period is only three months and the rest of the non-summer. So let's not write winter. Say 
नॉन समर रिमेनिंग मंथ्स आर नॉन समर नॉन समर सो समर मंथ्स आर एटीन थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड एंड वन पॉइंट फाइव सो बेसिकली वॉट यू डू दिस सिक्स परसेंट इज द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट पर एन एम बट फॉर थ्री मंथ्स द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट वुड बी सिक्स इंटू थ्री बाई ट्वेल्व विच इज वन पॉइंट फाइव एंड दिस वुड बी सिक्स इंटू नाइन बाई ट्वेल्व विच इज फोर पॉइंट यू डू दू कैलकुलेशन यूजिंग द सेम वेरियबल एटीन थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व One thousand, one point five, and four point five. In this case, so you see that the UQ level for summer would be one hundred and seventy, and the UQ level for non-summer would be ninety-eight. So basically, in case of summer months, you maintain a high UQ because so the turnaround of that of, of the books is very high. So you have to maintain a UQ level of one seventy, and for non-summer months, the UQ level would be maintained at ninety-eight. So basically, this question. and uh, this is how you solve the question uh, just try figure out this is always normal okay this is per order uh, this is per item and this is per column so if you figure out s t p r i think is good to go and this will always be in units okay so this is the formula for uq we can directly use this formula 2 into s into t by p into r whole root so some might come in this one um, regarding this the miller or model is not there in syllabus so if you are wondering about that that is not in syllabus so don't worry about that just do the uq and go for the exam okay so this was also a short video um, one video is pending which is the problem 3 um so i'll basically uh, review that answer it's few others and if the answer is same then i'll upload that video other than re solve that sum and then i'll re upload the video okay. so thank you for watching best of luck for the exam and yeah please watch the videos um, i have made these videos and uh, like, i hope everyone watches the video and uh, so that you, See the thing is, I want everyone to be able to solve these questions on their own in the exam. Okay, and instead of having to ask Shagun or um, Keshav for the answers, and then you like, it's fine. I understand some people might not have a preference for this, but then I think um, try and solve this for the exams as much as possible, and like uh, maybe verify the answers later. But try and solve it. I think this these things will come in handy later on. and uh, like when i hear people that tell me that i saw your video and then i solved the question uh, on my own and uh, was able to get 60% because of that like what if you see if you solve even like three or four questions on your own because of this then my effort is successful otherwise if you just um take the answers and uh, do it then it just uh, feels bad that i'm putting the effort and you could have learned something so anyways uh, let me just talk about that right now best of luck for the exam hopefully most of the questions you can do uh, on your own and uh, yeah the life